My name is Jason Newland. This is relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. This is going to be a relaxation session. And there's going to be two versions of this, one with and one without music. The one with music will be longer, about 51 minutes long, with a random number I know. And this recording, the recording without music, will be about half an hour. Just in case you was to fall asleep, my suggestion is that you maybe set an alarm to wake yourself up at the end of it. But of course that's up to you. There's more chance of falling asleep if you listen lying down. And if you do sit in a chair if you are sitting in a chair, please make sure that the chair supports your body in the event of you falling asleep. So although this isn't aimed at sending you to sleep, my boring voice might do. So, and also, there's something about relaxing your body that can actually change the way you feel and when your body relaxes your mind relaxes and when your mind relaxes you start to just no longer care about stuff that you were maybe fussing about before uh, things that may be wrought on your mind before no longer seem uh, as important as they were. And then your body relaxes even more. And there's some theories that we hold thoughts and memories and stuff like that in our body as well. But I definitely would say that we hold tension and anxiety and you know that kind of uh, uptightedness within our body and that's fair to say can be reduced somewhat just by taking some time out of your day where you can give yourself the opportunity and indeed permission to relax. All the different parts of your body as well as your mind. And at first, especially for someone that hasn't perhaps done this before, or is new to it, or hasn't listened to me before, it may seem a bit strange. You may be thinking, what's this weird person talking about? Relaxing my body parts. Well, I'm, I'm just what? And you know, sometimes it isn't really just a case of relaxing your left leg or your right arm or your jaw. Because when you do relax, for example, you focus on your eyes, your eyelids, 
And when I focus on my eyelids, my eyes, for some reason, I put my eyebrows up almost in a, like a startled position, trying to make myself look like Mr. Spock from Star Trek. And I'm very in touch with how my forehead feels. Now, it's not because I've got a huge forehead, although my forehead has grown over the years as my hair has been uh, retreating, my hairline. But they're connected, the muscles are connected to each other. You know, the whole face, the muscles, the cause you to be able to show expressions on your face are all connected. Those muscles are. And indeed, your eyelids are connected to your ankles because it's the same skin. The skin, it's not the same bit piece of skin, but all the skin is connected. And then, of course, there's the nervous system. So you've got that thing called a spine moving from your brain down through your back. And then all the nerves from there spread into every single part of your body which is what gives you the feelings that you have. And there's that constant communication. So it's, it, although it might seem very simple, very like nothing much is really happening when you just close your eyes and you listen to me talking and you start to feel more relaxed and your mind starts to just slow down and instead of focusing as perhaps you were on those things that you were perhaps, you know, maybe worried about or concerned about in the past before you decided to uh, give your attention to my voice and what I'm saying for your own relaxation. You start to feel different because there's less to focus on. There's less to, well, there's nothing really to be concerned about. So I might say, uh, you can focus on your ankles, and just noticing your ankles. Maybe you're noticing that the feeling of relaxation in your ankles, it almost feels as if there's a gap between your calf muscles and your feet. It's almost like your ankles are becoming invisible and there's... The air is just flowing through that gap, which feels really relaxing and calm. And that, that's not something that requires any kind of worrying about, unless you know, you're thinking, oh no, my angles have disappeared. But they haven't. It's just thoughts and ideas Yet the difference in listening to me talking about uh, perhaps your stomach and the muscles in your stomach starting to just flatten out so that those bits of stress and pressure can release from your stomach allowing you to feel calmer in that part of your body, which also spreads to your chest and 
You know, it just feels nice. It feels calm. It feels friendly. See, when you're focusing on that, it's just a nice thing to focus on. There is nothing that you need to do. There's nothing that you're required to say. It really is just about giving yourself this space to enjoy being you. Because when you're relaxing, you're not really adding anything. You're removing things. So you're just removing those things that have been blocking your ability to notice and enjoy and experience the feelings of calmness and relaxation spreading through your body as the muscles release that negative energy that is no longer necessary for you in your body, your mind or even your life. That negative energy can just be evaporated and released and gone. Because once it leaves the muscles of your back, once that tension leaves your lower back, the stresses or the negative feelings or thoughts, they can't return unless you allow them to. Because your lower back belongs to you. You are your own gatekeeper of your own health and your own relaxation. You're in charge. You're the boss. Nobody else can tell you what to do. No one else can tell you to feel anything other than how you wish to experience more relaxation and all the different parts of your body, including internally, including inside your stomach, your liver, your kidneys, your lungs, your heart, all the blood vessels relaxing, feeling calmer. And there's a little thing that always tags along, always travels with that relaxation. So the relaxation always turns up with a, a little backpack. And you might think, well, what's in the backpack? And you can see the backpack's open and it's healing energy. Every particle of relaxation that you notice growing in your body also has healing energy connected. And healing isn't something that's sort of outside of us. It's not something that may or may not exist. It's not an opinion or a belief system. Your body heals itself constantly. Your body is always 
healing itself. You're born with that ability. Just as you're born with the ability to fall asleep easily and to relax. You're born with the ability to know when you're hungry. You're born with the ability to have emotions. When you're a baby, you may not understand what those emotions are. But then you might not understand what the feelings of hunger are until they're satisfied. That healing, the ability for your skin to heal, for all the different parts of your body to naturally heal without any need for you to do anything. Your body naturally heals itself constantly from the second you're born. In fact, probably before we're even born, the healing takes place. So connected to that healing is relaxation. And we heal quicker and much more easily when we're feeling relaxed. Because tension and stress can just, it's a blocker, it blocks things, it gets in the way, it trips things up. Generally, it's not a huge amount of use. And when I talk about stress, I'm talking about the stress that causes ill health and uptightedness. Not the normal, healthy level of stress that we need to be able to walk and to be able to tense our muscles and to be able to do the things we need to do and run when we need to run. Of course, there's a degree of tension and stress in our bodies in those moments. There's someone there who's in the Olympics who's throwing a shot put. They're probably going to be very, very relaxed at parts and very, very tense at other parts. But they know how to choose which time to be the correct way. Just as you can choose to feel more relaxed more of the time goes by and you can relax as that time moves slowly and you can relax slowly because there's no hurry There's no need to rush feelings of comfort. In fact, that's the opposite to feeling relaxed because it can't be forced. It can be encouraged. It can be suggested. Relaxation can't be forced, which is why you need to allow it. You need to invite those feelings of comfort into your body, into your hands, your feet, the back of your neck, 
chest, stomach, all the way down your spine, spreading out from the muscles either side of your spine, relaxing the whole of your back, your shoulders, arms, your hips and your legs, moving all the way down your thighs, your knees, calves and shins, ankles, feet and toes. And then as you actually start to focus on your mind, you start to realize that there's a different feeling there now. There's a, a calmness a sense of stillness that perhaps wasn't there before. And it feels nice. It really just feels comfortable and safe. It feels like a safe space to rest. A place where you can not just feel secure, but also you can notice a sense of positivity growing inside yourself. Positivity growing and spreading, not just in your mind, but also throughout your body. And that positivity also has its own backpack, which contains confidence. Positivity is always connected with confidence. Which is something else that a small baby has naturally. A sense of confidence within themselves, even when they're clearly not in the right. They may believe that they are baby believes that the world is theirs, that everything is there to be, you know, they're there to be served, that everyone else around them is there to do their bidding. And of course that's not true, it was kind of true for a little while, but there's a confidence You ever see a small, a toddler trying to walk? Doesn't matter how many times that toddler falls down on his bum, he still keeps getting up. He's confident, determined, and knows 100% that he will walk. There's no doubt, not one particle of doubt in that child's mind. Because a child is positive that he or she will walk and that he'll reach the target, whatever that is whether it's trying to get the, his parents' mobile phone off the table so he can chuck it down the toilet or something. 
you know, confident and positive. We're born with these qualities. We learn the negative stuff. We're born with the positive stuff. We're born with the ability to heal naturally. And some of the things like tension and negativity can get in the way of that. In the sense of blocking some of those natural processes that we are born with. The ability to relax deeply. To sleep easily. To laugh freely. And also to cry freely. We're born with the ability to express ourselves naturally. You could say in some ways that a baby is born without any blockages. Everything generally is working. It's not developed, but it's working. So the natural processes of healing, processes of growth, brain growth, that we still have now, at any age, Our brains are always growing. We're always developing new pathways in our brains. Just listening to this now is creating new pathways in your brain. And me saying it is creating new pathways in my brain. which means just another pathway which is now easy to get through, which leads you a shortcut to feeling relaxed and calm. Another shortcut to feeling positive and safe. Another shortcut to realize that you are an amazing person, just as you are, right now. You are an amazing person. And I wonder how that feels when you hear those words and you really, really allow those words to sink deep into every fiber of your being. When you realize they're not just words. Because those words also have backpacks. That sentence has a backpack, big backpack, and inside, truth. Because that's what it is, it's the truth. You're amazing. You can allow those ideas and thoughts to sink deep, deep inside you. Never to be forgotten. Always there. Available to remind you. Remind yourself that you are amazing. And you do deserve to be happy. And 
and you can relax deeply. And you are loved. You are loved. going to count down from five to one, saying the word relax, and you can become twice as relaxed with each number, twice as relaxed with each number. Five. Three, two, one. You are loved. deserve to be happy. You're an amazing person. Remember that. Remember. 